local gate itself in Savannah. They were just doing a machine installation, and I'm going to show you in this course how to install an XP600 printer head. Basically, it's all the same XP600, DX5, whatever it is, but I'll have you know the XP600 is called a budget head or a disposable print head. Let me show you what it looks like closer. You have six slots here, which you're going to take four colors one yellow, one black, and two cyan and two magentas. And this is what it looks like on the surface. Our heads here come with a silicone sill with the head cable where the head cables plug into the head so we don't have to worry about plugging the cables into the head. Now if you go to the back you're gonna see my ink tanks. From my ink tanks I'm gonna plug in the pipes and you, as you can see these pipes have never run ink before. This is a filter and it's gonna run through the filter through the pipes and all the way to the front coming to these sachets which are called dampers. So in this course, I'm just gonna show you how to fill all the dampers with ink and also plug in the print head. First and foremost, I've made sure my machine can turn on and it works, so I'm good. Now, I'm putting the, the head. I've put here what are called head screws. I'm just gonna show you what they look like. Now, as I plug in my head screws, you do notice that uh, they do not have any washers at the front here, at the top. That's very important because you do not want your head screws to not be able to fit in all the way down number one and number two it's really important that they all be the same size otherwise if one is shorter the other is higher your head is not going to be able to sit properly with all my screws secured on the print head i'm going to put the dampers out of the way and i'm going to line it with these four holes that are on the print head base right first things first is to align these whatever i'm doing i need to make sure these tips of my cables here never get any ink on them all right so as i am putting the head the most important thing to do here is never to tighten one screw first you always need to make sure that all the screws are in firstly basically it's like how you put a car tire you screw the the, the screws which are diagonal you screw them in first so i'll make sure that all the screws are in first Alright, now they're all in, so you can see my head is secured. Now you need to make sure that your head is straight and you start straightening it. You start tightening, sorry. So you loosely tighten one side, go to the other, you loosely tighten until you have a uniform sitting of the head on the base plate. Otherwise, you do not want your head to sit skew because when it does that, you get a lot of things like overspray and other problems that you're going to get. All right, when your head is screwed in, it's really, really important to check underneath. Do you see that my head is protruded and it needs to be protruded the same in the front and all the way at the back and all the way sideways. It should not be skew here or going the way forward, it shouldn't be skew. And you do that by making sure that your head is tightened lovely. So my head is now plugged in. Now I'm gonna do what is called filling the dampers with ink and I'm gonna prime it. But before that, I'm gonna show you how to do the connections which is where a lot of people mess up. This is what you call a connector chip. This is a V4, some are V3 chips. If it's a different board model, which is not the Senyang model, there's so many names you can get, but they'll always be for an XP600 head, even other heads, a head chip, which then plugs into the board. So it's advisable to take it off. And whatever you do now, be able, if you can, to protect this with some form of covering so that if you spill any ink, it's not gonna go onto your board, All right? Now, this is the head chip. It has the right side of the head coming to where it's labeled right, and so does the left side come here. Now, there are what are called pins on the head, these ones here. It's about 29 of them on, an, on, on, on this type of uh, XP600 head. On the other heads, you get different numbers. There are also 29 pins on the receiving chip here. Now, you need to make sure these are matched. If they're not, you're going to get error 16 on your machine. So you look at the one end and you look at the other, and you need to make sure that these pins on the, on the uh, chip here are matching these pins on the belt here. So I'm going to put it in and you're going to see what it looks like. Otherwise, if you keep getting it a 16 on the head installation, it's normally because these pins and tracks are not aligned. The bottom one will give you error 16. The top one will give you an error that says com link fail. So if you get error 16, if you check now at the end, do you see? Pin and track aligned. Look at the other side. Pin and track aligned. And that's very important. If this is not connected at all, you get error 16. If you get an error which says com link fail when you plug in your head, it's because the top one is also not aligned which I'm going to align now. All right. Now, the left cable has been plugged in on the left port, as you can see. And if you check closely, you just need to make sure that the tracks on the cable and the pins on the receiving connector 
are lines. You can see this one all the way to this one. Sometimes you have to force it to come to one side so that it can get in straight. There is an issue with these a lot if you don't align these. Okay. Now, before I plug it in, I'm now going to pull ink into the dampers. And what I like to do as standard practice is the moment ink starts getting involved, I'm going to protect my printhead with just basic tissue, right? I'm going to have some tissue with me here. Tear off the one side. And where I really need to protect is when the cables get into the head. So if you ever see tissue around here, that's what it is for. So the one I'm pulling ink is not going to get anywhere here. Number one, okay, cool. Now. now, when you're pulling ink into your dampers, if ever you have these, which are called Y connectors, which split the two dampers uh, for the same color. So this is my cyan and magenta. As you can see here, I've already put the yellow and the black, but these ones have split connectors, which are there. I need to lock one side and then I pull ink into the other damper. And as you pull it, these are called premium dampers. They allow for non-return, but there are so many different kinds of dampers. Just make sure you get proper dampers, which are good for your system. I prefer these ones, but they are other ones which are a bit fat and short. You can also use those, but the concept is the same. When you put your syringe here, you don't want to poke it so that you damage the, the orifice here. You just want to put it at the center here and you're locking the other one. And then you start pulling ink. But as you pull, do you see that it is breathing? You hold. And then you keep pulling until you start seeing ink coming in. Once your ink is in, you always want to have your damper upside down. So the ink fills the damper first before it fills the syringe. Once that's done, then you can bring it down and you can bring it out. So that's the first part of magenta. And then you lock this one. If you are not experienced at this, I really would recommend you cover this part so that you don't make a mistake of spilling ink onto the board. Now I'm pulling the other magenta and I'm still locking the other one. You do see that I'm locking the other the other side. Now both my tanks are full while it's my, my dampers are full, it's upside down and I'm just gonna bring it down and pull it out. You hear that suction? That's the sound that you need. I'm gonna put my ink order having black here, cyan, cyan, magenta, magenta, black. You can put any ink order as long as you tell the system what you have done. I prefer to start from lightest to darkest or darkest to lightest, which black being my darkest color, cyan being the next one, magenta and yellow being the lightest color. All good. Now here's the next and very important part. So my dampers are in, as you can see, black, cyan, cyan, magenta, magenta, yellow. It's really important to check if there aren't any pinches on your pipes. Normally when the pipes are longer or shorter, you could get any pinches. Once there are pinches, then it's gonna limit the supply of ink into the, uh, the printhead. The next stage of this is called priming. Priming allows us to always make sure that we fill the dampers, uh, that we fill the head with ink first before we run it electronically. So check how it goes. Now, normally when you put a brand new printer, you normally advise to change the cap and the dampers as well, so that you pull all the ink and we do everything like this. Now, this is your cap. As you can see, it has never run any ink. It's white now. It's going to be black when I'm done, but I'm going to show you the next stage, which I was talking about, which is called priming. So I bring the head to the station and then you cap it. Depending on the station, some stations you leave the motor on the side. Remember the machine is off now, so I'm not turning it on. Or you can, some machines have a knob here, okay? Now, as you align your head with the printer, it's always important to make sure that the cap is at the center of the printhead and it keeps going up until that system there is covered. Do you see? If I drop it before that, right now, my cap is not touching the head. Now it's gonna go up. It's going to seal, but after this, it's centered, but it's not yet sealing. So I need to keep pushing this up until that part there here covers that gap. You see this part here? There we go. And it covers somewhere there. Perfect. And now I'm going to take a syringe with some tissue. I'm going to follow the pipe which is coming out of the pump. As you can see, there's normally a pump on your system. Uh, on this one is right here. Some system is right down here. Some systems are on the side. I'm going to follow this pump. This is the pipe that comes out of the pump. Your pump is an in and out. Now, the machine is still off, keep in mind. I'm going to plug in this syringe on, into the pipe and I'm going to start pulling the ink. This is what is called priming. You pull it and hold it. See, if I release it, it goes back. This shows me that there's a complete sealing between the head and the cap. So I don't have any issues with my capping system and my pipes. And now you keep holding until you start seeing ink filling the syringe. If you do not see that, then don't bother turning it on because this is the first and most important thing to do, the priming part, okay? 
as you can see, ink is coming and it's filling my syringe like that. I normally get about 20 to 25 mils of that. And then with this, I know that my head is perfectly sealing. As you can check here, following the pump, do you see there's two pipes here? I have magenta and cyan coming from here. All the inks are coming through. And as I said, your pump is directional. This is input, this is output. So you always need to make sure you're pulling from the output line. Okay, with the ink having been run now, I know that everything is fine. With my head is not blocked and the pumping, the inking system, everything is okay. I'm gonna take my chip. You can see these holes here. They also need to match with the pins and the tracks on the connector chip. So I'm gonna line it. There we go. Once it's aligned, then I'm gonna push it down. Good. If you get any if any defects on this chip, you're gonna get problems, whether it's the pins that go onto the board or the pins here that you plug in the head to. So always make sure that that is secured. It's very important at this stage, some people bring it under this section here to always secure your cables and make sure that they are not going to go up enough and hit and hit the carriage and hit the carriage base here. So I mean, the body of the machine, I mean, sorry. So uh, different people have different ways of doing it. I just like to fold my cables. And then after I fold them, I can put some tape, all right. With everything else done, I'm simply gonna turn my machine on now and we're gonna see if I get any errors on the screen. Still initializing and solid. No errors on the screen. This is just telling me that I haven't connected my computer yet. And at the bottom, you can see the head is capped and everything is proper. And it's at the center. The cap is at the center of the print head. The next stage after this is of course, he's putting, as he's putting the vinyl, we are now simply running maintenance where we're going to do a manual pump. I prefer a function if you can find it on your system that says inking. On some system that says load ink, just depends. As you do this, you just want to check if the waste pipe here is bringing out ink and is bringing it out consistently. So as you can see. Now in your system, when you get in, if you go to maintenance as we've done this come to manual pump or as i said you can do the inking normally you're not going to find this function on some systems so you come to manual pump or manual clean or fill ink and you run it the most important thing is not just that this is running but two things you want to check for is that noise running which is the pump and ultimately is ink flowing into the waste bottle which is this you can do see that maybe the camera can come a bit closer you can see there you go Ink is flowing nicely here, no air bubbles, and it has to be smooth. All right, that you're going to do a clean nozzle. Now, a clean nozzle is going to do three things it's going to pump, but however, it is timed. After it pumps, it's going to wipe, and then after it wipes, it is going to do what's called, what we call a spray. And check the process here. It has just pumped, and you're going to see that the wiper is going to clean. You can see the head splitting like that. We're good. And there we go. So it, it pumped, it wiped, then it spurted. Okay. I'm going to set my starting position, which is my printer is, is going to start here. And I'm going to save that. And I'm going to do a nozzle test to see if everything is fine. All right, and as you can see, we have six nozzles here, which is black, cyan, cyan, magenta, magenta, and then your yellow. There we go. Let's come to the end of our video on how to install a printhead. This is the end of it. It's going to leave you here where you can get a perfect nozzle test. And the rest, you can start printing. Cheers. Have a day.